Hi, my name's Helen Mort. I'm a poet and fiction writer. And today I'm going to look at how you can write something without leaving your house. So finding inspiration just in the things that you might have around you in your flat or in your house and, and how you can be inspired at home. So first off, we're hearing quite a lot about store cupboard cooking at the moment and working with the ingredients that you've got. But what about store cupboard poetry? So I'd just like you to find a cupboard in your house, um, just, just what, whatever is to hand open the cupboard and take out whatever you're drawn to. That's going to be the subject for your piece of writing. So in my case, I have ended up with a humble tin of baked beans. For me, I think uh, looking at this tin of beans reminds me about the comfort of having beans on toast when I was a child, or it reminds me of my little boy's joyful face the first time that he tasted baked beans. So I think I'd probably try to write into one of those memories and to go back to a different time in my life and think about what the food reminds me of. Food's a really, really good way of transporting yourself around the world and, and thinking about all the evocative things it reminds you of. So I think it's a really good place to start by trying to write into a memory through food. Uh, the second uh, creative writing exercise at home is to do with magazines and books. Everyone usually has something or other lying around the house, even if it's just a catalogue or it's a magazine or whatever, or perhaps you've got a bookshelf that you could use. Whatever it is you've got to hand, I'd like you to pick something at random. Again, you could just choose something from your shelves or find a magazine that's been left lying around and turn to page 10. And you're just going to pick a line from page 10, again, quite quite randomly. And that's going to be a line to use for inspiration. So um, because I'm a climber, a lot of the books that I have lying around the house is to do with rock climbing. Um, so I've got this one. I've got rock and wall climbing. Doesn't sound particularly poetic or inspiring, does it? Um, but I'm going to turn to page 10 and the first line that jumps out at me is climbing is just a game. So if I was doing this exercise, I'd take that line, climbing is just a game, and I'd use that as the first line for my piece of writing. I'd take climbing is just a game and I'd carry on with that line and see where it took me. I'd write on from that point. And it can be a really good way of getting started because you're using somebody else's words. If you did use that in a finished poem, if you sent it off to a competition or published it, then you would just acknowledge um, under the title of the poem where that line of, of writing had come from, so the original source. So I'd just put the name of this book and the author, for instance. So uh, finally, the last writing prompt from home. Most of us, I think, also have photos or maybe postcards lying around the house, or even if not, you might have photos on your phone. I would like you to choose an image from around your house or from your photo album and uh, try and write about it. So you might imagine yourself into a scene or you might imagine that you're a different person or a different character. I've just picked up this card that I found um, upstairs and it's, um, it's a view of a street. I think it might be a street in Paris. It's certainly a um, French street, I think. So if this was me, I might be imagining myself on this street or I might pick, um, you can see there's two tiny people down there. I might pick one of those characters and I might make up a story that involves one of those people. So I hope you've enjoyed those writing prompts and I hope it's shown you that you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to have particularly um, interesting things around you or out of the ordinary things rather to use as a starting point for your writing. Enjoy, happy writing and best of luck.